All right, we're back live with Anesthesia Assistant Program. We're here with Susan Dunnington. She runs the program, and she's going to tell us all about the program. Hi, everybody. So welcome to our mock operating room. This is the room that we use to teach our anesthesia assistant students all about uh, crisis management in anesthesia. So the Anesthesia Assistant Program is a postgraduate program. It's part-time. And students who have a background as a registered respiratory therapist or as a critical care nurse are eligible with two years experience to apply for the program. So the program is three semesters in length and the first two are done here at the school. The third semester is done clinically with the students going back to the hospital and practicing in the operating room. So what you see here is our simulated mannequin. These high fidelity mannequins are very important to the education of our students. As you can see, the mannequin is currently intubated. He has a tube in his lungs. He's breathing. The monitor is showing he's hooked up to a heart rate, blood pressure, and oxygen monitoring. And uh, so this is a similar way that how you would set up a patient in the operating room before uh, the surgery was to begin. So the role of the anesthesia assistant is to assist the anesthesiologist in helping to put the patient, uh, giving them their anesthetic, and managing the patient throughout the whole surgery. So they're there at the beginning of the case, they're there throughout the case, and they're there when they're waking up the patient and taking them to the recovery room and uh, to uh, the ICU or anywhere um, after the surgery uh, is, is done. So it is, a, like I said, a three semester program. Two semesters are done in-house here, uh, where the student gets lots of practice with uh, crisis situations that are that come up in the OR. They get practice in a simulated environment working in teams and then when they go out to their hospital for their clinical they have those protocols in place that they can apply on living patients. So um, that's our program. So one of the questions that we've been asking all the programs, yours being a part-time postgraduate mm -hmm. program, it's going to be a bit different but when you're in the program, are you still working as an RT or a critical nurse? Yes, yeah. So all the students that come into our program are working at least part-time, if not full-time. So because it's part-time, they can do a lot of their work by distance, um, and they don't have to be here at the school uh, much in the first semester at all. It's a lot of the uh, courses done online. In the second semester, they come in for one day a week. So the rest of the time, they can still perform their normal duties, and most of them do work still full-time. Full and then did you want to touch on the clinical placement aspect? Yeah, yeah. So the clinical placement is currently, uh, because these people are already working, they're actually coming in and applying to the program with a clinical placement. So, um, so they go to their chief of anesthesia. They get a letter from the chief saying that they are allowed as an employee to come back and do their clinical placement at their home site. So then the majority of their clinical placement is done where they work. Um, there are some external rotations that we expect the students to complete, so we will arrange those external rotations for them. For example, if they don't work at a hospital that does cardiac surgery, we will place them at our UHN cardiac facility for a week so that they can get that experience. So we will do what's needed to fulfill the requirements of the program. Amazing. Alrighty, I think we've covered all our bases. Okay, thanks Dylan. Thanks for showing off Thanks AA. everybody.